Arthur, it's just me. Maybe we should have a little chat. Why? What have you heard? I haven't heard anything. I just know you're not yourself. And April's worried sick. Apparently, Elliot said something to you. Arthur, come on. Don't shut me out. I want to help you. Oh, sweetheart. What's wrong? Look, it's going to be OK. Everything's going to be OK. <laughs> Look. Whatever's happened, it can't be worth all these tears. I'm sorry. Why are you apologising? Just tell me what's happened and we'll work it out together. I haven't been honest with you. Right, is this to do with April? No, no. School? No, nothing like that. Do you remember when we were watching Love Island and I said that I thought Paige was fit? Um, well, yeah, well, vaguely, yeah. Well, well, I don't. Don't what? I think she's fit. I mean, she, she's gorgeous. She's, she's got lovely hair and everything, but... I, I don't fancy her. Right. Well, who do you fancy, then? Please, don't be mad at me. Oh, why would I be mad at you? <laughs> because... Um, um, I'm gay. Oh. Are you sure about this, are you? Are you upset? No, for goodness sake, why would I be upset? Because I've been hiding it from you, though. Because I told Nicola first. If you're going to tell anyone, Nicola's a brilliant person to tell. Anyway, she's probably jealous. She'd give her a right arm for one of hers to be gay. Of course I'm not angry. I'm just so glad that you've told me. <laughs> me too. I mean, it kind of makes perfect sense. It's like a piece of the puzzle is just slotted into place. My beautiful, kind, sensitive boy. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Do you think Dad will be OK with it? I reckon he's here now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. He never liked missing out. You know, one of the, the best things about being a parent is seeing the person your kids grow up to be. And he would be so proud of the young man that you've become. You think? Yeah. I mean, he believed in unconditional love, so it doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, or anything in between. We love you just the same. I wish I could talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Some people say God don't approve of gay people. That is a sin. But it's who I am. I thought maybe I was confused or I was going through a phase, but yeah, I'm not. It's part of me and I can't change it. So why, why would God make me this way if, if, he, if he thinks it's wrong? Listen, people interpret the Bible in all sorts of ways. You get out what you put in, OK? And if you read it trying to find something to validate your prejudices, you'll probably find what you're looking for. So is it wrong? Well, if it was so wrong, if it was such a big sin, do you not think Jesus would have mentioned it? But he didn't. But what he did say was to love one another. Yeah? Love is love. Love feels the same for everyone. And only you get to decide who you give your heart to. Nobody else. Thanks, Paul.